This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video we'll be seeing how you can create a separate page for the blog. So here, this is my website and you can see that there is no blog page. So I want to create a blog page, add some contents and display it on my website homepage, like a menu right here. So let's see how that is done. So first, first of all, we're going to go to the uh, dashboard. We're going to the WordPress dashboard. So we don't require any plugin or so. So firstly, I'm going to go to the pages and create a new page. I'm adding a new page right here and we're going to add blog so this is going to be the page where all of my blog posts are uh, coming up so let's click on to publish so all right so when i click on to the page you can see the page is now published but uh, there is no content right now so for that uh, let's go to the dashboard and here in the post section you can add a post by clicking on add new and then adding content so i've done few uh, contents already so i have added few contents i have uh, created uh, categories and everything so these are the content that's going to be uh, coming up in the blog page so next uh, we're going to assign these posts under the page blog so we're going to add these mini posts that we have added to the blog page. So for that, we're going to go to the setting and here in, uh, you have to navigate to the reading. So here is where all of the posts that we have added is going to uh, merge into a blog page. All right. So here is the reading setting. So here you can see your homepage display. So uh, if you don't have a blog, a mini page set, a page setup or anything, all of your blog posts will automatically go into your homepage. Since I have a few pages like uh, about uh, contact us, all these pages are like already there. Let me show you. So here you can see this is my uh, homepage. This is already been done. So if you don't have a well-designed homepage, uh, this might be your blog page. All of the posts that you add will go to your homepage. All right. So since we have that, uh, we are you have to click on to the static page. All right. So uh, whatever it is, you have to click on the static page. So here uh, you can select the home page, which is a home page that you have. So uh, we have the default uh, home page right here. And here in the post page, that's where we're going to choose the blog. So here uh, you can see the blog that we have just added. And also you can uh, show where uh, how many uh, posts that you have to uh, show in a blog page in a single page how many uh, posts that you have to show that you can uh, add that then syndication of feed also uh, is there and also if you, you can add uh, for each page uh, you want to include the full text or the excerpt so we're going to add as excerpt uh, we don't want the full length of uh, the content to be displayed so uh, that's also there and also if you want to uh, have a, a search engine visibility so uh, if you don't want to index uh, the site then you can just click on to that so we want to index it in our website so let's leave that so i'm going to save the changes so uh, now that is done so we're going to go to the pages right now and uh, we had created the blog page and let's click on to the view so here you will be able to see all of the blog uh, blog posts that we have added has now in our blog session but you can see we don't have a menu option we don't have a menu of blog so that uh, when a person comes in they have to add it so for that we're going to go to the uh, website again and we're going to go to the menu and add the page that we have added so let's go to the appearance and here in the menu section you can you'll be able to add the menu so this is the default menu that we have this is the main menu so right here uh, we'll uh, go to the we all option and here you will be able to see the blog and it is the post page that we have assigned so let's click on to the add to menu and we're going to drag it up right below uh, right next to the uh, book option all right so uh, this is the primary menu you can just click on to here and 
just saved uh, save the menu and that is done so uh, let's go back to our website let's uh, refresh our website so once refresh you will be able to see the blog section that is right up here so just click on to the blog option and here it is here uh, this is the blog page and all of the blogs that we have added is now displayed in this page so that's how you can add a separate page for the blogs and add blogs into that page and display it on the menus it is as simple as that so uh, i hope this video helped you if you like this video give a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on wordpress and woocommerce every now and then to get your website performance up and top We'll see you in another video. Bye.